In this video, I'm gonna be revealing 18 work from home jobs that you can get into relatively easily. They don't require any experience. And many of them you can make $1,600 a week or more. And if you appreciate me doing this type of content, let me know by gently tapping the like button, give it a nice little cheers. And let's jump into it right now. So number one on the list is going to be a digital recorder. And this is basically a position where you capture court proceedings using audio and video technology. And this replaces traditional stenography. And basically you're responsible for accurate transcription. And there's a lot of different types of companies that hire for this type of position. For instance, legal institutions, including courts, law firms, and primary employers. And this is kind of like being the silent guardian of the legal process, capturing every word to preserve the truth. And this is something that has grown tremendously in 2023 and 2024. Many companies that were previously using stenographers are now using digital reporters instead. And in this position, you'd expect to make about 40 to $59,000 a year. So yeah, this is one of those jobs that my team and I have been keeping our finger on the pulse of, and we put an absolutely ridiculous amount of research into each and every one of these videos, literally hundreds of hours into each video. And that's because we want to bring you the best possible information. So this one is really good right now. Um, and it's going to be even better in the future. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Now, by the way, did you know that you can earn thousands of dollars a month by working less than one hour per day? And this is exactly what I do by making content on YouTube. And I'm going to be showing people how to do this with a live training where I reveal the five biggest secrets on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And these are the same strategies that helped me to make thousands of dollars within my first few months of starting and taking YouTube seriously. And I also get checks like this almost on a daily basis. So I'll be hosting this at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. And I'll also be giving away a free mini course, but only for people who attend the live training. Plus, I'll be conducting a live Q&A where I answer any questions that you have on how to grow or make money from YouTube. Now, I can only accommodate a limited amount of people because this is going to be a live Zoom training where you're talking directly to me. So make sure you sign up now while it's still available by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be medical guidance sales. And this is basically the bridge between a patient and a healthier future. And this basically involves selling virtual medicine-based subscription programs to individuals and small groups. And they focus on accessible, affordable medical guidance. And in this position, you'd likely be hired by various different businesses wow. in the wellness sector. For instance, telemedicine services typically hire for this role. And in this position, even at the entry level, you'd expect to make about $65,000 to $106,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one, relatively easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience typically. With that being said, sales roles are brutal and they're not necessarily for everyone. A lot of the time you basically get thrown into the ocean and it's either a sink or swim type of thing. And that's why I typically recommend that people go into something that's a little less brutal at first when they get into sales, such as tech sales. And we've helped a ton of people get into tech sales on this channel. I've actually interviewed many of them on the channel itself. On target earnings, I should say anyway, $65,000 a year. And if you're interested in getting into tech sales yourself, we do have a free training, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And that's gonna be a bit of a smoother transition for you. But yeah, this one is still really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is another one that's been on the rise in the last six months or so, and that is a chatbot trainer. So this is another one that my team and I have been keeping our fingers on the pulse of, and it's basically exactly what it sounds like. You are going to be training chatbots to come up with better responses for people. And these chatbots oftentimes are operated by AI. And as a trainer, your job is to specialize in making the AI wow. interact seamlessly with human beings. And this is a role that has been extremely hot. It's often sought after by tech companies, customer service industry businesses, and businesses that are integrating AI into their operations. So not only is this good to get a job, in, but it's also really good when it comes to freelancing or even starting your own business. And believe it or not, this role makes between $57,000 and $93,000 a year. So yeah, this is a really good one. Uh, doesn't require a college degree or previous experience typically. So yeah, this one is really good. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. And by the way, if you appreciate all the hard work that we put into these videos, go ahead and share this video with a friend who needs to see it. Next is going to be a posting specialist. And this isn't posting on social media. It actually has a lot more to do with management and auditing. So you basically manage and audit bill payments, ensuring accuracy and financial transactions. And these positions are typically hired by healthcare facilities, insurance companies, and financial organizations. And posting specialists make about 38 to $55,000 a year. 
So it's not the highest paying position, but it is relatively easy to get into. Typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Also, there's lots of online resources to learn about some of the stuff that you're going to be doing. For instance, Khan Academy offers free courses in financial management and billing systems. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a business support associate. And this is kind of a position where you're like a Swiss army knife of the <laughs> corporate world. And you're basically gonna be providing administrative and operational assistance to ensure the smooth functioning of a company's day-to-day -day activities. So basically what that means is you're a jack of all trades and you're gonna be doing a lot of different things, but within the corporate structure. And I think this is a great position if you want to later on down the line become an entrepreneur, because you're gonna be learning a good amount about a lot of different things. And in this position, you would make about forty-seven to $71,000 a year. So another pretty good one. I'll go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a health plan consultant. So this is another one of those many different healthcare related careers that are really good, easy to get into. They're relatively stable and they pay pretty well. And there's a bunch of these random little niche healthcare careers all over the place. And you focus on connecting with and assisting potential clients in selecting suitable healthcare plans. And in this position, you would make about 60,000 to $104,000 a year. So yeah, this one's relatively easy to get into, typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Although there is some training that you have to do, but a lot of the time the company will offer the training for you. Now, if you wanna be more prepared for this, Coursera and edX both offer healthcare administration and basic business principles introductory courses. And it also helps if you volunteer in a healthcare setting. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be an advertising sales representative. And these are basically the dynamos behind ad space selling. And they connect businesses to advertising opportunities typically working in media companies, advertising agencies, or with independent contractors. Now, a really cool fact is advertising has actually existed since 3000 BC. So that's over 5,000 years ago. And it was probably a great career back then, and it's still a great career now. Now in advertising sales, you'd make about 78 to $142,000 a year. They typically don't care if you have a college degree, but they do prefer people who do have some work experience, but you'd be surprised how easily you can get a job with just a little bit of work experience. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll give it a lower rating because you do typically have to have some work experience. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a calculations assistant. Now in this position, you'd be tackling computational tasks, crunching numbers from everything from financial reports to statistical data. And you might be working in industries such as finance or healthcare. And you can almost think of this as the equivalent of being a human calculator, but with a dash of Sherlock Holmes eye for detail. Now in this position, it typically does not require any previous experience. Sometimes they may or may not want a college degree, but yeah, you make about 45 to $65,000 a year, so it pays decently well, relatively easy to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. By the way, if you enjoy any of these ones on the list, or maybe you don't like them, or you think there's one that I should have added, go ahead and comment down below. And there's a good chance it'll make it into a future video. Next is going to be an IP assistant. And IP stands for intellectual property. So basically in this position, you are going to be safeguarding inventions and creative works by assisting legal teams in document preparation and organization. And typically you'd be employed by law firms and corporate legal departments. And IP assistants make about sixty-three dollars to $101,000 a year. Now, this is another one where they would prefer that you have a college degree. Sometimes you need previous experience. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes if you have previous experience, they don't really care what it is. So yeah, this is a pretty good one to get into. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. And one thing to understand about intellectual property um, is it's actually designed to increase creative expression, right? It's not designed to stifle creativity. It's designed to encourage creativity. And when it comes to intellectual property, it's actually a right according to the UN, right? So it's almost like a universal right that if you create something that's amazing, it's a new breakthrough, you should be rewarded for that. And this is actually a really beautiful thing. And speaking of intellectual property, I actually do teach people how to start YouTube channels just like this one. And you can check out that free training by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Additionally, I do coach a few people per month on how to grow and make money from their YouTube channel. So that will be in the same exact link if you're interested in it. Next is going to be a dyslexia tutor. And this usually involves teaching reading or math related skills to students that have dyslexia. 
And this is a special type of tutoring because obviously students who have dyslexia are likely gonna have more trouble. And I actually have dyslexia myself, it runs in the family, and it's not always what you think. It's not always completely mixing up, you know, different letters and words. Sometimes it's when you think one thing, but you actually say a completely different thing. So they're learning a lot about dyslexia and there's a lot of new discoveries coming out about it. And it's always great if you have tutors that can actually help these people more. So dyslexia tutors make about 61 to $95,000 a year. And this is another one where you can make extra money as a freelancer or even start your own business as well. So yeah, this is a pretty good one. Tutoring in general, I'm a huge fan of. I've made a ton of money from tutoring myself. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. You can check out these opportunities right here. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a property and casualty producer. And in this position, you'd be selling insurance policies covering homes, autos, and more. And you'd be helping clients to protect against potential losses. And you're typically going to be working for insurance agencies or independent brokers. Now, this role fits perfectly into this video as it offers a combination of sales, customer service, and flexible working arrangements, which makes it ideal for home-based professionals. Now, PNC insurance agents make about sixty-eight dollars to $116,000 a year. This is typically one of those positions where you can get into it without any previous experience or a college degree. However, it is one of those sink or swim type positions. A lot of sales positions are like that. You can either sell or you can't. So there's pros and cons to that. But yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. You can check out these opportunities right here. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be a test scorer. In this position, you'd be evaluating grades and standardized tests and online exams. And you typically be hired by educational testing companies as well as institutions. And test scorers make about thirty-seven dollars to $56,000 a year. So again, as you can imagine, relatively easy to get into. Doesn't typically require previous experience or a college degree. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a medical patient billing coordinator. So this is where you'd be billing insurance companies or patients for healthcare claims. And you'd be navigating the insanely complicated US healthcare system. In this position, you'd expect to make about 41 to $60,000 a year. So yeah, this is yet another one of those medical careers relatively easy to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a real estate lead generator. And this is where you'd be connecting potential clients with real estate opportunities. And you're typically gonna be employed by real estate agencies and independent realtors. Now, a fun fact here is the smallest house in Great Britain is about 72 inches long and it looks like this. That's pretty cool. For some reason, I would like to stay in that house. I'm not sure why. But yeah, lead generation specialists make about fifty-nine dollars to $97,000 a year. And you're basically just finding leads for people that are either selling or in the market for buying a house for realtors or real estate agencies. So pretty good one. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out. Next is going to be a home restoration customer development representative. And this is basically where you'd be helping to drive sales for home restoration services. And you'd primarily be working for companies that specialize in home repair and improvement. And an interesting fact here that's related to this industry is a creative Speaking house is typically related to temperature, not age. And customer development representatives typically make about sixty-five dollars to $102,000 a year. So this is another one of those sales-related jobs. Again, relatively easy to get into. Doesn't typically require a college degree or previous experience, but it is a sink or swim type of thing. So really good one. Um, you can make a ton of money doing it, but it is sink or swim. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be a public health program associate. So another one of those medical careers, lots of these on the list because they're just that good. And typically you would be focusing on substance related and addiction disorders, and you would be managing and monitoring public health programs. And this is typically a position where you'd get hired by a government health department or a public health organization. So lots of these opportunities out there. It pays about 48 to $80,000 a year, which is pretty good. Some places are going to require a college degree, but they typically don't care which degree it is. And in many cases you can get in without any previous experience. And by the way, guys, I do hear this comment all the time. People, will say, oh, I went and I checked out, you know, other listings for this career and it says that they require experience. Well, I'm here to tell you guys, that is like the oldest trick in the book. Almost every entry level job requires two years of experience. Just apply anyways. If it says it's entry level, just apply anyway. I don't know why businesses do that, but they just say that entry level jobs require two years of experience. I think it's just to weed out people who aren't confident in their skills. But if you're confident that you can learn the job, then just go ahead and apply anyways. But yeah, uh, this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. 
Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can pause the video and check them out. Next is going to be a virtual solution consultant. In this position, you'd typically be working in a remote setting and you'd focus on advising clients in various technology or software solutions that meet their business needs. And you'd typically be working for either a technology or consulting firm that specializes in digital transformation. And in this position, you'd expect to make about $99 to $174,000 a year. So this one is a little bit harder to get hired straight up without any previous experience or a degree. With that being said, you can get hired for different freelancing type jobs or contract jobs. So that's definitely something to look into. These types of things are relatively new and there's not really colleges out there that teach this kind of stuff. And so it's a lot easier than you think to get hired for these roles even though they're really high paying. But with that being said, this one is a little bit harder to get hired for than some of the other ones on the list. So for that reason, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you. Next is going to be an energy consultant. So this is somebody who advises homeowners and businesses on solar energy solutions. And solar power, as you probably have guessed, is getting more and more popular. So yes, this is another one of those sales related roles. It is kind of a sink or swim type of thing. But with that being said, this one is a little bit easier for you to find success with than some of the other ones on the list. And energy consultants make $93,000 to $168,000 a year. So this is one of the better types of sales jobs to get into, in my opinion. Now, with that being said, a lot of the time, this is going to be door-to-door -door sales. And that is the most intense type of sales because you literally have to go up and knock on strangers' doors. With that being said, there are energy consultant-related jobs that are completely work from home and you don't have to do the door-to-door -door sales aspect of it. So those are available. So it can be very intense, but with that being said, I think that everybody should do a job like this at least once in their lifetime because it's going to teach you so many valuable skills and it's really going to build your character. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9 out of 10 opportunity score overall. You can check out these opportunities right here. I'll put them up on the screen. Next is going to be an apartment finder. And this is somebody who specializes in searching and matching clients with their ideal rental properties based on their preferences and budgets. And they typically work for real estate agencies or as independent contractors. Now, apartment locators make about 38 to $60,000 a year typically doesn't require a college degree, typically doesn't require any previous experience, relatively easy to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Here's some opportunities, I'll put them up on the screen for you. By the way, I made a video that went immediately viral, got over 700,000 views, and it's 10 no interview remote jobs that are relatively easy to land, and you can check that video out by clicking right here.